Want to make a cute top in an afternoon? I'll show you how easy it is. Hi, I'm Angela Wolf. I want to share some of my favorite sewing techniques to create a fantastic top. I'm using the Scout Tee pattern from Grainline Studio, but you can use any similar style t-shirt pattern. I've already cut out my pattern pieces in a woven cotton fabric. A woven fabric won't stretch out of shape when you sew. With right sides together, pin each front shoulder to the back shoulder. Then pin the front to the back at each side seam. At the machine, line up the fabric edge for a half inch seam allowance. Insert the needle at least an eighth of an inch from the edge of the fabric, back stitch once or twice, and stitch. When you get to the end of the seam, don't forget to back stitch. I'm using a contrasting thread so you can really see, but you choose a matching color, of course. Move to the side seam and stitch down the side seam the same way. Repeat this process on the other side of the garment and then finish the seam edge. I finished those frayed edges with an overlock stitch on the sewing machine, but you could use a zigzag stitch or a surged edge. Now it's time for the neckline. You can make your own matching bias tape out of your main fabric, or if you want to save time, buy half inch double folded bias tape like I have here. Before we get started, here's a quick tip for sewing the neckline. Be careful not to stretch the bias tape over the shoulder areas, or you could end up with puckers. But you do want to stretch the bias tape a little at the center front and back to prevent your neckline from gapping open. Leave about three inches free at the back of the neckline. Then line up the first fold on the bias tape with the neckline and pin. Stitch right in this first fold. Stitch over the shoulder area. Remember, don't pull the bias tape in this area. Okay, we're at the curve of the neckline. Start to pull the bias tape just slightly as you stitch. Once you're at the other side, let it lay evenly once more. Back up around the shoulder, and we have to close the bias tape. Now, here's the neatest way I know to close bias tape. Cross the ends of the bias tape like this. Pin, and draw a straight line from here to here. Stitch across the diagonal line. Trim off the excess and then finish attaching the bias tape by stitching along the fold. Take care to hold those seam allowances flat. With the help of an iron, fold the bias strip over the seam allowance, tuck under the other pressed edge, and pin. Make sure to cover the seam allowance and catch the back fold of the bias tape. Work your way around the neckline, folding, pressing, and pinning. Starting at the center back, stitch one more time around the edge of the bias tape. Keep checking as you go to make sure you're stitching through both sides of the bias tape. Okay, let's move on to the sleeves. This is a set-in sleeve, so I need to prepare the sleeve cap before inserting it into the garment. Sew two rows of basing stitches across here. Pull the end of each of the threads to gather the sleeve head. If you have a tailor's ham, you can use it to help steam press the sleeve to a nice rounded shape. With right sides together, line up the seams, place a pin, match the front notches, and pin the sleeve in place. Match the back notches, and do the same thing. This notch should line up with the shoulder seam. See how I'm easing the sleeve cap into the armhole? Starting at the side seam, stitch the sleeve in place, making sure you're sewing through only the two layers. Then finish the seam allowances. The final step is to hem the sleeves and bottom of the top. At the hem, turn up the edge half of an inch and press. Use a tailor's clapper for a nice crisp crease if you have one. Use a little burst of steam and hold the clapper on the crease. Press up the hem all the way around the hemline. Now tuck the end into the fold and press again. This will give you a perfectly pressed crease to stitch. Start at the side seam to stitch the fold in place and work your way around. As you get back to your first stitches, go over a couple of them, then back stitch to secure the thread. Repeat the same hemming technique for the sleeves and you're all finished. Thanks for watching. 
To get this pattern, fabric, or more expert instruction, be sure to click the I in the top corner of this video.